Hello, Christopher. What's your name? Steve Tiller. How you doing? Steve Tiller. And this is a beautiful home. Where are we? Where do we? We are. This is a old log cabin. Been in my family since the 1890s, and mm -hmm. uh, it's in Sandy Springs. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's kind of close in. Mm-hmm. Used to be an old farmhouse, and it's now uh, just going to take a picture of the sink. Right. No sink <laughs> picture. Okay. <laughs> And I write children's books. Very good. It's quite a collection. And they're unique because they share an interfaith message. Is that correct? They do all share an interfaith message. They're all mm -hmm. based actually on Fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Primarily Fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. and tell me about your childhood faith experience. You mentioned you were um, well, I guess a military dependent. Really came in, I was a military dependent and we were living on a base up in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I think the first time that I realized that uh, maybe I thought differently about my own um, uh, spiritual experience than other people was a, you know, I was sitting there listening to the minister and it just didn't seem he, that he really had a good feeling for how much God loved him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was mostly in a condemnation of hellfire and brimstone. Mm -hmm. And I know that exists, but it's uh, the true message is really one of ultimate acceptance of who you are by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it, that's a, that's a warm embrace to me. Yes. And it's a, um, and I think from that point, um, you know, I, and I, I left the faith several times. I didn't really leave, leave the faith. I guess I just got full of self and, mm -hmm. and went my own way on many occasions, but have always managed to, uh, to come back. Cause that's where I'm at home best is in, in, uh, fully in relationship with, with God and with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he's led me to do this work, which is a, my ministry to kids. Mm -hmm. And um, and mostly they're built around Fruits of the Spirit. This is a book about faith. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a conversation between the boat and the wind about believing in things you can't see. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's one of your award-winning books, is that correct? Yeah, all these have had some recognition. Mm -hmm. um, this, these Inside Outside and Just Be Yourself were up for the Seuss Awards last year. They didn't win it, but they did win a nod from the uh, George Author of the Year people. Mm -hmm. uh, Off the Red Nose Rocket is a really a Christian story, and it's a, uh, you know, I always thought kind of <laughs> that Santa kind of got a bad rap. He never bothered my spiritual understanding of who mm -hmm. God was, and so it takes the presence that we get and contrasts it contrasts it with the presence of God mm -hmm. and so uh, um, and so it's really a it's an alien that crash lands at the North Pole and meets Santa and Santa then tells her about Christmas the real meaning of Christmas oh so it's an a, alien it's a crash lands at the North Pole yeah and the alien's name is pinky pinky Sp <laughs> the space alien pinky the space alien, pinky the space alien. She, has, she has she has long flowing pink hair very of. good pinky and that's no, Rudolph the Red Nose have, Rocket. Okay. Have any, have any and then uh, one of your other favorite books? Yeah. Uh, I think Henry. I love Henry. Uh, well, Tangle Fairies I love. Rainbow's mm -hmm. Landing. I love Rainbow's Landing is a story about courage, mm -hmm. having the courage to follow your dreams. And it's a. Uh, it was a Georgia Author of the Year Award mm -hmm. book too. And it's just. Uh, it's just got. And we just did great illustrations and stuff, and it's a great message because it's a, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, this guy wants to leave the reef. Yes. And, uh, um, and so he, What's his name? The guy that wants to leave? Well, is that the clownfish? The two, yeah, that's the clownfish. That's mm -hmm. Lucy. It's, it has, it's based on two characters. Um, Lucy um, and Fred. And... Um, they're actually named after friends of mine. I, I name all the characters after, after friends of mine mm -hmm. uh, that actually exist in the real world. But Lucy and Fred are actually married. They're down in, uh, they live down in Tallahassee. It's two attorneys. Mm -hmm. But the, he gets blown off the reef. Mm -hmm. Fred. And uh, Fred gets blown right. off. His desire is to leave and go swimming with the fish. And he can't figure out how to do this. It seems like an impossible dream to him. Mm -hmm. But you know, life has, if we allow God and life to take over in us, a lot of times, even the most fantastic things that we think that are absolutely impossible, that could never happen, eventually happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this case, he was blown off the reef and goes uh, to swim with the fish mm -hmm. and uh, forms his own, uh, uh, lands on a, another, a, in another area and uh, 
uh, begins a new colony. Of, uh, but it's just a, it's really about having the courage to follow your dreams is what it's about. That's beautiful. It's a great message. I love the illustrations. And then Tangle Fairies, that was your Tangle first Fairies book. Tangle was my first book. And, and that's really, an award winner as well, right? Yeah, that was the first book I did, and it was a, and it's really more about um, hair than <laughs> which I have, which I have very little of. But the, um, it had more uh, to do with uh, uh, with being neat as opposed to uh, an actual fruit of the spirit. But it had great pictures in it, mm -hmm. and it's a, it was a rhyme. It was my first book, and mm -hmm. I was really looking for a. I didn't actually think it would turn into a book. It was just a story about how your hair gets tangled up at night. Mm -hmm. And so these, uh, these little things like Tangle Fairies come mm -hmm. and tangle your hair up at night, and that's a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And it won this award called the Benjamin Franklin Award. That's beautiful. The illustrations are amazing. And this actually was a, it's, it, it really gave me um, confidence Mm -hmm. inspired confidence in me that I could actually do this for a living, write books mm -hmm. for a living, and make changes in the lives of children. And that's really what I tried to do. I think you summed it up at one point as being uh, books that, uh, bedtime stories that build character. That's beautiful. Well, Steve, these are beautiful. What's the best way to reach you? Um, I... Um, to the website? Yeah, the website, which is mm -hmm. www.writestuffkids.com, which is R I G H T S T U F F K I D S. Mm -hmm. Your kid got the right stuff, right, right stuff kids. Mm -hmm. uh, dot com is the best way to get me. My email there is steve at writestuffkids.com. Very good. And there's a, you can buy books on site. Mm -hmm. um, and we s ship them out. Very good. Thank you, and Steve. And we sign everything. So. Excellent. I love your books. This is beautiful. Thank you.